Welcome back, everyone. Yes, it's been so goddamn long, and I say that every time. But as you can see, uh, we've been quite busy in this workshop of mine. Mm. Look, I even have a, a Warhammer table. Oh, yes, look at this guy. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, check that shit out, huh? Huh? You like that shit? Maybe I'll do a video on this one day. Maybe. Oh, look. He's got an axe. I made, like, I actually made that. I, it didn't come like that. I made it. And he's got a fur pelt. I also made that. Pretty sick space marine. All right, enough of nerdgasming. Let me get back to nerding with something else. Look at this beautiful masterpiece of a ship. And I know what you're thinking. Blue Dorito? No. It's a stealth bomber. Or my I, attempt at making a stealth bomber. So I think in my most recent Space Engineers video, someone mess someone mentioned how to build a ship with wings. You know, some something that's like looks or is made aerodynamically. And the first thing I thought was, what is the most winged ship I know? And that would be the stealth bomber. Yes. And why do I say that? Because it's literally a giant fucking wing. So it presented me with a cool challenge to kind of like integrate, integrate 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 a sleek style with the least amount of exposed thrusters and components as possible because i don't really do that i like to have things exposed i like greeblies this has got to be one of the smoothest designs i've made i'm not totally satisfied with it but it came out okay i had this as a reference photo or maybe should i do this this as a reference photo so that's what i based this version of the stealth bomber so let me go ahead and give you all a tour of this immaculate ship so if you come to the bottom side of the ship you'll notice we have this button here so we'll open that up and wow, wow look at that an offset door very nice so it is very tricky to get in so you would actually have to if you were on the atmosphere in the uh, planet or something you would have to like crouch walk your way in i can kind of do it as you can see so we'll walk in through here and it gets really fucky oh god oh no okay so for the sake of ease i just spawned in a ship with uh, gravity in it just so i can showcase this a little better oh what kind of ship is that hmm, possibly a new basilisk most likely as we continue through the ship we can kind of uh, jump over this little lip and we can close off the bomber and it's tucked away nice sleek love it very very nice it's very cramped unfortunately i probably could have de designed it a little better but i'm happy with the outcome of it so we can go ahead and close this door and then open this one acting as some sort of airlock but in atmosphere it wouldn't really matter and we can walk into here kind of we have to crouch walk into here and we can close this and theoretically it would have air it's not airtight i really fucked up really marked up i was kind of rushed with this build but there's an air vent here on the side and it would uh fill this area with air but i really try to make it as tactical as possible keeping it very dark on the inside like the stealth bomber is i believe the lights inside are red not green but i kind of like this green tinge so i decided to continue with that and as you can see we have gyroscopes peeking through these little glass windows and the same on the other side and i have more scattered throughout the ship because this ship is heavy and massive as you can see from the wings it's very very heavy so the extra gyroscopes and the wings and everything help it maneuver around and act more like a flyable ship and then if we come over here we have this which is Kind of like the bomber seat so you'd sit in here and uh, control the bomb drops not accurate to the real stealth bomber but uh i thought it i thought it looked pretty cool also because i really couldn't fit a second cockpit in here um any way i liked um may re may redesign this in the future but we'll see but you'll notice that we have these lcd panels on hinges kind of tilting towards it gives him more of a heads up display he's got multiple displays and then if we continue over here we have the cockpit and it is very very spacious you know you have a lot of viewing room to uh, see all your enemies attack them so let's just hop on in here and look at that awesome perfect first person uh, flying ship you know you can see a lot uh, but it's still tucked away you know you got a lot of uh, cover with this cockpit so below if we take a closer look at it the main attraction of the ship is this 
amazing bomb hatch. So if I press one, it will open up. You'll notice that we have all these bombs. So perfect for like strip bombing or just a quick strafing run with these bombs. But I just recently learned that it's actually rotating on the actual stealth bomber. So it would rotate inside and drop bombs individually, like large massive bombs i just put small tiny ones because that's all i could think of what made sense but i'm not i'm not mad at the design i kind of like it and if you notice we have two auto cannons on the front because i wanted this ship to have some sort of uh, fighter capability to shoot it's not a real stealth bomber come on guys just bear with me but if you look down on our toolbar you'll notice that we have the controls for the bomb hatch we can arm all the bombs and then we can let go of each individual uh, merge block and that will disconnect all of them and now they are all free floating except for that one because it is too close and it is still merged with the ship unfortunate but that's all i have for this video thank you all so much for uh tuning in and i hope you're as excited as i am for the next episode i'm gonna start streaming soon maybe once i get it working and everything we just did this huge setup change and uh oh we're still trying to figure out how we want to set everything up so uh stay tuned for that and uh, any later updates and maybe i'll do some uh warhammer painting for you all if you're interested let me know in the comments i have found a new love anyways thank you all so much for watching and i hope i see you in the next and as always stay thick stay chunky stay beautiful my chunk followers this has been your Lord, playing Space Engineers, now signing off.